my friends, it's time to flip the screen. Get the ticker ticking for the first segment of the day. Our mags, best bets of the day. He, I already told you, he's got two more NBA plays coming at you. That's right. Lace up the Jordans, lock in, and get ready But for nothing but cold hard facts, insights, and analysis. I don't know where I was going with that. A little extra fluff than per usual. But what I will tell you, my friends, is hey, partner, let it rip, let him have it, and as always, You have the floor. All right, my man. I am, uh, as mentioned, going to the NBA. Two plays once again today. I'll make them both pretty short and sweet here. uh, Because first one on tap is the Suns at the Minnesota Timberwolves. And a large part of why uh, this one kind of lit my eyes up a little bit. Uh, Lots and lots of money coming in on the Suns. Uh, This one has been on the move a little bit. It was at 2.5 this morning. uh, And despite the Suns getting 93% of money, coming back down to plus 1.5 here for the Wolves at home. Plain and simple, man, this Wolves team has been really, really solid here at home this season, and especially over the last handful of weeks. They are absolutely raking at home right now. And obviously, the Suns are a very good team. They've still been they've been very profitable on the road as well. Uh, both teams, top five ATS in uh, Wolves at home, Suns on the road. But obviously, without Chris Paul, they've lost a little bit of that edge, and they're a little bit banged up uh, down the line as well. So I think they're going to have a little bit of a depth issue in this one uh, with the way this Wolves team is playing on offense, man. 4-0 and for the Wolves last four following a straight up, uh, or excuse me, an ATS loss. Just lost a few days ago. As we mentioned, the closing line ended up being one. Uh, so depending on what you caught that line, obviously you might have covered that one. But uh, they ended up failing to cover the closing line there. But they are 12-3-1 and last. 16 following a straight up loss so in those situations where they just lost like they did to the Dallas Mavericks the other day uh, they've been a fantastic bounce back team especially once again at home partner so seven and two last nine versus a team with a winning road record so even when these good teams are coming into town into Minnesota they've been fantastic as well and they've got one day of rest nine three and one last 13 games uh, against the number on one day's rest so I expect them to win this one outright I like the pricing so I'll take the extra point and a half backing in this in this one for sure here at home but I've got no questions no qualms about this one give me the wolves plus one and a half to kick th- kick things off for me today well, damn, you ain't talking, uh, you ain't kidding when you say short and sweet. Jiminy Christmas, uh, right to this point. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm still going to keep saying what I'm saying. I just don't know shit about fuck when it comes to the NBA. Like, I, I think you're on the right side here. This seems right. Um, from what I know is that this would seem like, oh, a setup for the Suns. And, like, that's how I would come in. So I question, is this a setup for experts? I don't know. Is it, like, to take the point with the home dog? I I don't know. You know more than I do in this situation. You are the NBA man. I cannot deduct or tell you anything because what I do know is that, hey, this line might be up to six and a half by the time the fucking ball tips because somebody decided that they were going to rest their right toe uh, five minutes before game time happens. So I, 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 I just don't have time for that. Okay, now Fair might enough. get involved a little bit later. Appreciate your yones and appreciate your insights and analysis. So hey, if you guys do too, and I highly suggest you hammer it in because the kid's hot on the NBA hardwood. Hammer in right here, right now. Minnesota Timberwolves, plus one. Partner, hell yeah. What do you got for number two? <laughs> All right, number two, going to a team that we already talked about yesterday and uh, coming in on the recap here. Going to a little bit of a different angle in this one, though. Orlando at Oklahoma City. I'm going to the first half for Orlando in this one, partner. I'm interested in the full game. Uh, but with Orlando coming out in on a back-to-back, obviously last night getting the win against uh, Golden State in Orlando, I'm a little worried for a little bit of a second half, half collapse, which we have been seeing from these teams on a back-to-back the last few days. But typically, and especially these last few days, the first half has been working out pretty well for these teams uh, because plain and simple the Oklahoma City Thunder have been in without Lou Dort and I know a lot of people aren't talking about this but he is actually a really significant player for them as far as being a bad team with him and being an absolutely miserable team without him partner as far as both ends of the floor honestly helps him offensively for sure but I think defensively is really what I value where I start to find the fade value in the thunder when he's gone as far as the full game is concerned or full games are concerned they are three and 18 straight up without Lou Dort this season man and while they still don't have a very good record with them it's 17 and 34 so obviously that's brutal but that's still that's a bad team to a miserable team without him partner so so, uh, like I said, I was interested in that full game, but I'm uh, staying away from any second-half collapse. Just 
popping right into this first half, getting them at minus a half here. I like it. There's a certain spot where it's minus one and a half on the first half as well. I like that. And if you're even getting safe, I think I saw minus 128 on the first half money line. If that's what you're looking for to get even safer, I don't think that's too much uh, too much chalk to eat. I think they I think they win this first half by at least five points here. Uh, their defense has been playing really well. This Orlando Magic team, and uh, again without without some of these guys, even with SGA, I know a lot of people love SGA, and he's been able to fill it up. That's it. That's it. Point Blake period. Everyone else is miserable on this team, man. So I don't have any concerns about that as far as the back-to-back. If you look at the other side of the floor, you might, on the full season statistics, you might start to say the same thing as far as the Oklahoma, uh, excuse me, the Oklahoma City Thunder's defense can slow down the Orlando Magic offense. But like I just said, without Lou Dort, their defensive numbers are dropping and dropping by the game, man. So I've got no questions. Once again, no qualms. I don't have any trends to bring you on this one, obviously, because it's a first half as opposed to the full game. Uh, Magic have uh, been pretty uh, middle of the pack as far as full game in uh, back-to-back situations. So love the first half in this one, partner. Minus a half is where I caught it at. Fine up to minus one and a half as well for the first half. And my final best bet of the day, Orlando Magic on the first half spread, my friend. Yeah, I was uh, originally a little bit surprised to uh, see that you were going to the Orlando Magic, especially with your staunch rule about uh, not betting on teams on the back-to-back. And then I realized that it was in the first half, and, uh, you know, maybe we have uh, an additional play on this very bet a little bit later on in the show. Who's to say? Who's to know? Who am I? What do you know? I have not a clue in the world, but what I do know is I think this has some pretty damn good value. I think with how you started it saying that, Yeah, I think the Magic come out pretty hot, but they could full send melt in the second half, and uh, I think you're right in that synopsis. So I'll be on this one with you. Orlando Magic, first half spread, minus a half. My friends, you are paying a little bit of juice on that, but uh, not too much chalk to eat whatsoever. So there you go, RMAG's first and second best bets of the day. Uh, Partner, before we keep this proverbial podcast train steaming on down the tracks, anything else in regards to those two bad boys? No, sir, that's all I got. Hammer them in for me. Okie dokie, artichokey.